Oh, hey everyone. Lance Yolanoff, editor at large for Tech Radar here, and today I'm diving into the updated version of Apple's headset, the Apple Vision Pro M5. Now, if you've been following the spatial computing scene, you know that this is one big leap, or at least that's what Apple wants us to think. So let's dive in, let's test it, and let's ask the big question. Does this update finally justify that really big price? First off, the Vision Pro was already ambitious two years ago. Part VR, part AR, part computer you wear on your face. But now Apple has slipped into it the M5 chip and they've added a new dual knit headband plus some software polish with Vision OS 26. But what does that really get you? In short, faster, clearer, and yes, finally, more comfortable. But it still comes with some big caveats. So let's walk through what I found. Let's start with what's changed and what hasn't. On the new side, there's the M5 chip. That's the headline upgrade. It's built on a three nanometer process versus the M2's older five nanometer process. So it's more efficient and better suited for the ultra high resolution displays. You'll load apps faster. Images look sharper and smoother thanks to a new 120 hertz refresh rate. And when I hooked it up to my MacBook Pro, the virtual monitor experience got a serious boost. Then there's the new dual knit headband, finally. The original band that hugged the back of your head, that was comfortable for a little while, but after an hour, your face might crumble. The new band spreads out the weight better, and I found I could wear it for two hours, maybe more, without having my face feel like it was sliding off my skull. On the sameness side, the displays remain the same dual micro OLED panels with 4K plus resolution per eye. The body materials, glass, aluminum, carbon fiber, mesh, they're all still premium. The external battery pack, still here. So if you're expecting a radical redesign, that's not what you're getting. Design-wise, the Vision Pro M5 still oozes premium. On the cameras, glass on the front, hiding cameras inside, both external and internal. You've got all the soft fabrics and it still weighs 600 grams that you're putting on your face. Now the new headband, which I really love, works like this. You've got one knob tightens the back strap and the over the top strap. You push and pull to control either one. And this gives you a much better fit and control. Adjusting it in the beginning was a little fiddly, but once I dialed in, I found it made a massive difference. It's a setup, straightforward. You fit the band, you charge the external battery, you pop on the headset, and you're guided through the eye and pupil distance, the lens inserts, if you wear glasses, and your persona scan. The Persona scan setup now takes just 30 seconds and creates a surprisingly realistic avatar of you that includes your shoulders and even the sides of your head. Let's talk about the actual experience with Vision OS 26 and the M5 inside. This is where the Vision Pro gets really interesting. The interface, a mix of gaze, gesture, and voice control still feels intuitive and polished. You look at an object, you pinch your finger, and it responds. The virtual keyboard, still here. With the M5 chip in there, I felt everything was smoother, especially when doing things like hooking the Vision Pro up to my MacBook Pro and working in a giant curved virtual display. There was no graininess, everything was crisp. Battery life in mixed use got a bump too. Two hours standard, up to three for video only sessions. As for gaming and immersive stuff, I played ping pong against a robot. I drew awkwardly in Sketch Pro. I punched floating cubes in beat, punch, fun, and fitness. I tried a virtual piano. That was a lot of fun, can't play piano. Breaking the updated M5 Vision Pro into key pros and cons, here's where I landed. The M5 brings real improvements in visual clarity and performance. The new headband finally makes longer wear more feasible. Vision OS 26 feels refined. Widgets, spatial scenes, virtual workspaces, they all shine. On the con side, aside from the chip and the band, most hardware is unchanged. So the upgrade isn't seismic. Price is still $3,499, that's to start, and $3,199 in the UK, that's massive. 
and not a great look in the face of the new 1799 Samsung Galaxy XR spatial computer. Socially, there's still a barrier to wearing this in front of others. My family, for instance, wasn't thrilled when I donned it. If you're expecting a truly AI-centric experience, this isn't quite there yet. Voice controls and AI assistants still feel limited compared to what others are promising. Again, the Galaxy XR is deeply infused with Gemini. Apple may have some catching up to do here. Overall, the Vision Pro M5 is the best version of Apple's visionary headset yet. It hits a lot of the right notes, especially in clarity and comfort. But it still lives in the ultra premium lane. And for many people, it'll remain a cool tech piece rather than a daily driver. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the Vision Pro M5, hit like, subscribe for more tech reviews, and let me know in the comments, would you drop $3,500 for a spatial computer today? I'm Lance Yulinoff, and I'll catch you in the next one. Put this baby back on. All right, and we're in.